right. Welcome. Um, I thought I'd get back out to the Blue Mountains because I haven't shot here in a little while. Uh, it's been raining for about two weeks straight. So I haven't really had the opportunity to shoot. And while I'm out here doing some other work, I thought I would go for a bit of a wander. I'm at Adelina Falls, which is in the South Lawson uh, waterfall circuit. There's about seven or eight waterfalls around this location. So it's a, it's a nice walk. It's about an hour and a half if you go all the way around this circuit. Um, and while I'm here, I thought I would do a what's in my bag video. But it'll be nice. We'll go for a wander, check out a few different spots, hopefully get some shots and uh, enjoy some sunny weather. All right. All right. Uh, first up, we've got the uh, Alpha 7S Mark III, which I'm shooting on right now. And I'm recording audio with the ECM W2 BT, which is uh, Sony's wireless uh, microphone. So I'm using that. And my other body that I mainly use for stills and gimbal work is the uh, Alpha 7 IV, which I'll be shooting on today, mostly for a lot of the still images. And all the video will be coming off the S3 in S-Log3 422 10-bit. All right, let's go for a wonder. So this will be a really good test of the audio. Um, as you can probably hear, the waterfall's absolutely pumping. And I'm just gonna start setting up for the first couple of shots. I'm vlogging right now on the Alpha 7S Mark III with the uh, brand new uh, SELP 1635F4G. Uh, nice and wide, quite good for this location. I'll show you right the waterfall behind me. There it is. We're gonna try and get a wide shot, maybe a little bit of a long exposure if the, uh, if the sun isn't too bright at the moment. Uh, I guess we'll see. I'm also testing out the uh, new 2470 GM Mark II at the moment. I uh, just picked it up a couple of days ago. Uh, that'll probably come in another video, but I do also want to do a video where I go through my favorite lens and why. Um, but I'll probably cover that in the future. Today, I actually have quite a bit of content that I need to capture uh, for another job. So I'm just enjoying this location. It's beautiful, isn't it? The sun is starting to come out, so I think it's about time to move on from the waterfall locations and start heading towards Lincoln Rock. Uh, hopefully there's a really nice sunset there today. Fingers crossed. I feel like this video is gonna be a lot of me just wandering around, chatting, talking down to the camera, <laughs> but that's okay. I already mentioned this one before, but my other Next thing that I keep in my bag at all times is actually the microphone that I'm using right now. It's the uh, ECM W2BT, 200 meter range, uh, wireless Bluetooth audio. The car's just a little bit further up these stairs. The uh, next lens is the uh, 85 millimeter. I'll show you why. Next up, I'm actually gonna do my two favorite lenses side by side because they're the same weight, same size, and the same chassis. 
So that is the 24 millimeter f2.8 and the 40 millimeter f2.5. Uh, both of these lenses are the same size, same weight, same chassis, and that makes them perfect for video work, especially when you're swapping lenses in and out on a gimbal, which is the main reason I got them in the first place, other than this one can act as just a very expensive lens cap, leave this on your camera pretty much all the time, and that way you're always ready to go in 24 millimeter. If you've got a high enough resolution camera, you can probably get most shots, especially if it's travel, portraits, things like that. The other reason I got the 40 millimeter 2.5 is because, actually for video, um, this lens here, the 40 millimeter focal length, very, very popular for uh, cinematographers, mainly because it's kind of that bridge between the 35 that might be a little bit too wide and the 50, which in most cases is quite tight, especially if you're shooting in a confined space. The other reason I love this lens is a lot of people talk about the 50 millimeter being as the, the best representation of what the human eye sees, but that's not actually correct. Um, our eye has a much wider field of view and our eye sees an equivalent distance of about 50 millimeters in terms of you know, portrayal of the subject in front of our eye. But our central vision, that's the vision that we see in focus with a blurry area around the outside, that's actually a field of view vertically and horizontally of about 57 degrees. And funnily enough, 40 millimeter is exactly 57 degrees. <laughs> so that's why I use it. it. Gives a very natural look straight out of camera. As you can probably see, this is a pretty popular sunset spot. There's probably three or four other people shooting here at the moment. But the last lens I'm gonna go through is the 2470 GM Mark II. I just picked this one up a couple of days ago and putting it through its paces today. And the, uh, the main reason is you need a standard zoom for travel, events, portraits, weddings, that kind of stuff. Um, surprisingly sharp if you looked at the MTF chart of this lens, it is phenomenal. Um, so it's quickly becoming my new favorite. This is the uh, other piece of kit that I think everyone needs is just a kit bag with lens cleaner, spare microphone, flash trigger, flash, spare batteries, lens cloths, and all my microphone gear in there. Had to put my jacket on, it's a bit cold. And so the last lens on my list is the 1635 F4G power zoom lens. I got this lens mainly for video in case I do any more documentary work. Uh, working with a, my friend James and Broken Compass Films. So having the power zoom is really helpful for that kind of doco style work. But mainly I got this lens as a wide angle for stills. Um, mainly for when I shoot waterfalls. Uh, it's a 72 mil filter thread which fits nearly all of my filters, so that's really handy.